Alright. I couldn't find my beanie, so I had to make this thing work. So, uh, we're going to be reacting to the Final Fantasy IX PS4 trailer. No, PlayStation 1. Just kidding. PlayStation 4. Hold up. I mean, my they're just Cerberus nachos. Mmm. Mmm. No product placement intended. Supposed to do also by Muscle Man's apple juice. <clears throat> ah, it tastes so good. It's good and sweet. It tastes just the same as uh, sports drinks without all the calories. Alright. I've said enough. Let's get to the reaction now. Come on. Ooh, the graphics is enhanced a lot. No, I don't think sixteen dollars is exactly worth paying the price. Maybe. Eleven dollars? I don't know. If it cut down to eleven dollars, maybe. Don't get me wrong; it was a good game. I, I know. I played Final Fantasy IX, and I know it's one, and it's one of the good games out there. I think, at least in my opinion, it didn't get like good public reception. But just because it didn't get good public reception does not mean it's not a good game. Remember, Final Fantasy XV. Uh, didn't get good uh, reception or anything like that. And end up being uh, a really good game. Okay. Sorry, I'm just pushing my head aside so I don't get in my way. All right. Now let's discuss it since the trailer's over. Now let's discuss. Let's have some discussion. They should release Final Fantasy VIII before. I did say I want VIII and IX to be on the PS4, but they should have released VIII first. That's what I think. But that's just me. You know, VIII with enhanced graphics would have just been a little bit better, just because they didn't make sense. Because Final Fantasy 7 PC versions on place came out on PlayStation 4 when they came out with the first trailer of the remake. Hmm. But without further ado, I think they should have done 8 first. Now, the price tag, I think it's a little bit ridiculous. Yes, you get profile avatar icons, you get concept art, you get all these wonderful uh, uh, theme and everything but I don't think sixteen dollars fits the actual price I think eleven dollars more likely you know unless there's some bonus features on the actual game that was never in the original Final Fantasy 9 or maybe this is the Final Fantasy 9 import that okay yes yeah, sixteen dollars I can actually see you know but it's a little pretty pricey for um, a PlayStation 1 Final Fantasy Classic. Damn it. There. I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, fuck. But I think for like a PlayStation 1 Classic, it's a bit pricey. That's what I think. I think if they cut it down just a little bit, I think this would be a good job. Still gonna get it, obviously, because I'm a Final Fantasy aficionado, but, you know. $16 is way too much to pay. So tell me what you think of the concept. And may the crystal 